Hello, hello beautiful people, welcome back to the last Twisted League video. Now this video is going to be completely different to all my other League videos. We're gonna go through our bank and we are gonna go through the rewards that we get after the League's ended. We're gonna be selling every single reward and see how much everything is worth. And at the end you'll see how much money I actually made on 07 by playing Leagues for just about over a month. I didn't play League for the full duration, I basically played it for a little bit over a month, um, but uh, I had a lot of fun and you guys seem to enjoy the series a lot so I'm kind of looking forward for the next leagues and the next deadman mode or whatever it's gonna be but for now let's enjoy this video let's enjoy the bank video and let's enjoy the rewards at the end of the leagues 50 million 500 extra points very sick all right, so before we go into the rewards, let's go ahead and check out what we accomplished in a little bit over a month worth of Twisted Leagues. We got about 250 million worth of bank value. We ended up getting a whip, which is pretty much a best in slot weapon. And we also got the shit ton of boots. We did a lot of clue scrolls, 500 of each tier uh, minus the master tier. So we got a gilded body. I mean, we got a gilded square shield there. We also ended up getting like four holy sandals, two ranger boots, a bunch of um, manacles. We got so many pages we could fill so many books uh, but this is uh, for me personally one of the, the best things to look at I wish I spent a little bit more time organizing the bank uh, then it would look even better but we ended up getting so many cool items so if you guys have not seen the episodes uh, I mean go ahead watch them there's gonna be the playlist in the description but that's the bank video very quickly let's go ahead jump on 07 um, and see exactly how much money we can get from the rewards at the end of Twisted League I actually have to post commentate this because my microphone was making all sorts of different noises so if you go to Karend after the leagues is over you can speak to this cool looking dude and uh, as you can see you can claim the rewards now luckily we had about 23,000 points so we easily achieved the dragon tier um the dragon tier trophy but as you can see we're gonna display every single one of them so this one is bronze looks I mean it looks pretty bad right it's bronze uh, this one is iron looks a little bit better the next one is gonna be steel mithril adamant and so on and so forth uh, in my opinion personally if you made it above adamant it looks kind of cool but obviously the dragon tier reward as you will be able to see in just a moment looks absolutely gorgeous um, it can go very well with a certain fashion scape if you can have anything that has red in the in the armor it looks really good with the with the trophy so there we go as you can see adamant looks kind of cool it gives you that special animation of you know uh, wearing something really heavy and there it is this is what we have been grinding for at the good dragon tier reward um but that's not everything that's just a cosmetic obviously but if you go to the league shop you can buy a bunch of things now in order for you guys to not waste your twisted league points because there is no way to refund them i decided to buy one of each rewards skipping the tier 2 uh, twisted relic hunter because i didn't have enough points to do that but we end up buying banner teleport scroll uh twisted relic hunter gear 1 twisted relic hunter gear tier 3 uh blueprints and twisted horns all of those and you'll be able to see how much they're worth on the grand exchange so if you haven't spent your league reward like league point rewards yet you know what to invest in on the screen right now you get to see the tier 3 relic armor and it looks pretty damn good if you ask me now the twisted a blueprint you actually put in your house to change the wall decoration I didn't actually decide to do that but I will show you the screenshot in just a second and it looks pretty damn good uh, to be quite honest uh, but let's make our way to the grand exchange and uh, sell everything and see how much everything is worth okay now that we have all the rewards and we saw how they look uh, I might as well uh, try and sell them oh people are already following me in game hey guys all right let, let's go ahead let's go ahead and try to sell this i'm pretty sure you can i've seen skill specs tweet actually um in fact so uh yeah let me just uh, put in the pin and see how much things sell for all right so here we go it is time to sell all of the items and see how much money we get out of it as you can see blueprint was already 20 million um uh, but all the other items i do not actually check i just go through them sell one by one and uh yeah at the end we're gonna see which ones are actually worth going for and which ones might not be that worth uh going for so uh there we have it those were pretty much all the items let's go ahead and collect them so here we go the blueprint was 20 million the top was 26 million uh the twisted boots 6 million twisted trousers 10 million twisted cane 7.1 million twisted horns 31 million and twisted hat 8.5 million ladies and gentlemen 
playing Twisted League, making all the content, and having lots of fun got us about 111 million. And that's actually not everything because I still had some points left over. So there we go. Let's see how many points we still have left over if I, uh, you know, uh, talk to this guy. I have 3,000 points left over. I haven't bought the banner yet, so I might as well buy this. And I don't know what the Twisted Teleport Scroll is for. We might as well buy that too. And you know what? We might as well buy a Twisted Relic Hunter Tier 1, because uh, why not? And uh, I guess we're out of points now, so I didn't really calculate that well. Let's see how much these sell for, actually. I haven't really thought about that. Maybe they sell for something, maybe they don't. And remember, I still have that secondary account, and uh, I guess I'll use that account to just buy the the, the, the Slayer Recallers. I wanted to see how everything looks, um, so I don't mind even if I lost a little bit of money in the process. So this looks... Um, you know, a little bit more scuffed. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can sell that too. So we go right here. First, the teleport scroll. 1.5 million. Then the twisted hat. Tier 1. That's still 700k. I mean, uh, I'll just sell them instantly. Um, and then there is this twisted banner that I haven't looked at yet. Uh, but yeah, ooh, looks kind of cool. Probably one of the best looking banners in the game if you ask me. Uh, but you know what? We are here for money. So let's go ahead and sell that too. Um, so we sold the top for 780k. We sold the bot for 500k. We sold the boost for 300 and the banner for 1.5 million. In total, ladies and gentlemen, we made 116 million. Obviously, if I did anything else in the game, that would have been much more. But I enjoyed it. I produced a lot of content in the process. So, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be very nice to put right here in my bank. And now for the secondary account. You guys know I kind of gave up halfway through on this one. Um, as you can see, we only got up to rune tier. But we got a bit over 10,000 points, so I can afford myself a Twisted Horns. And I'll also think, uh, I think I'll also buy a blueprint and a banner. So that's gonna be some extra money on that account as well, which is very, very nice in total. I probably made about 150 million worth of loot. So at the end of the day, people want to know which item is the most worth going for. And the simple solution is it totally depends how much points you actually have. If you only have 4,000 points, it's definitely much better to just go for the blueprint instead of, let's say, a couple of scrolls. And then again, if you have uh, a lot of points, it's probably worth to go for the, you know, items that are worth a lot. Now, I don't know exactly how to do a good calculations to make you all know which one is the most worth going for, but what I can say is that horns are probably going to give the most value in my opinion. They're the ones that are going to be used a lot. But then again, if you go for these and if they keep the price as it is right now, uh, guys, prices fluctuate so much and I think um, these are the first items that are actually gonna be discontinued if I believe correctly so they might just be going up but at the end of the day those are cosmetics so I don't really know how much value they're gonna keep so I cannot give you an honest answer but if I could, uh, could give you a tip or what I will do. I will keep my horns to myself and see how the price reacts to them. If you want to do anything differently, if you want to keep the gear, if you want to keep the blueprints, whatever it is, do that. Here is on screen. If you want to do calculations for yourself, let's say you have 12,000 points. Is it more worth it to buy two horns and get 62 million out of it? Or is it more worth it to get, uh, let's say, uh, use 10,000 points and get tier 3 gear and then buy two or three extra screens? scrolls next to that you can do the calculations i think in that case uh doing these and scrolls might actually even be better uh but you, you see you, you get the point uh, a little bit of quick math and uh, you can know for yourself which one is more more most worth going for but everything is on the screen right now the prices will and can fluctuate a lot so don't take this for granted um, but with that being said, I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video and if you did give it a simple like now The uploads will definitely slow down a little bit right now I am very invested into League of Legends at the moment because of the new season I also will be looking to move very shortly um, And uh, that will make it so I won't be able to upload as much as possible But as soon as I'm on my new place I will be uploading as much as possible for you guys again But then again that totally depends if Gemflex gives us Deadman mode or another league because I personally personally enjoy playing RuneScape much much more during seasonal events uh, uh, rather than just playing a normal game. I don't enjoy a normal game as much as you guys might as you guys might think, 
but I do love Deadman mode and I really enjoy the Twisted Leagues as well, for example. Now, if you guys want to see more of me and uh, you don't really care if it's only RuneScape, definitely go ahead and check out my second channel. Uh, this is going to be a channel where I pretty much upload whatever I feel like uploading. At the moment, it is mainly League of Legends, but in the future, it can be anything from vlogs to different games to whatever the fuck I feel like doing. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you soon with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.